Grilling is so old. What's up, guys? What's we up? are talking about how credit score is calculated, and we are talking about what the thing. Credit age. Credit age. Uh, <laughs> credit is so old. So a factor in determining your credit score is your credit age. Now, this isn't as complicated as it sounds, okay? Basically, all credit ages is it's showing an average of how long you've been in the credit card game, okay? So, so basically what they do is they take the age of your accounts, which we're gonna explain, and they divide it by the number of your accounts, okay? So basically, um, you had a really good example on how this works. Yeah, so credit cards are like the easiest way because there's like, you know, a date that you sign up for the card. Mm -hmm. So, uh, best example is let's say I have two credit cards. One credit card I signed up for a year ago. And then the other credit card I just got today. Ooh, Ooh new credit card. So I have two credit cards. One is a year old and one is a day old. So the way that they're going to calculate my age is they're going to look and say, okay, you, your credit age is a year and a day divided by two credit cards. So you're like six months and half a day old. Yeah. And you know, obviously the more credit cards you have, the more it's going to be dividing by, but that's the basic way that they're calculating it is total age divided by number of accounts. Yeah. This portion is what's called a medium impact. So it doesn't impact your credit score nearly as much as like the payment history or derogatory marks. So don't stress too much about this category. Some people will avoid getting new cards because they don't want to lower their credit. Yeah, it doesn't age. hurt your score that much. But it's really not that big of a deal. And we actually encourage getting different cards because that's how you maximize points. So right. we open up new credit cards pretty frequently and we still have a great score. So don't stress too much about this, but it is important for you to understand how this works. And once again, the goal here is not to get a perfect score. So don't stress, okay? Um, as long as you're above like 750, which is a great credit score, yeah. you're gonna be able to get any card you want. Yeah, because any loan you want. Because like with this being a, a medium factor, it's still gonna play some you know part into your score. So to have a perfect credit score, your credit age has to be like 10 years old. Well, especially if you're just starting out with credit, like that's gonna take a while yeah. and don't worry so much about having a perfect score like you don't your credit score doesn't need to be 850 which is the maximum for you to get you know really good credit cards or be able to actually yeah. buy a house like 750 is considered excellent it doesn't actually get you any more to be at 850. gotcha so that is how that works we hope so we hope this <laughs> hopes why don't i do this we hope this was helpful for you if you have any questions please let us know in the comments below and we would be more than happy to get back and help you so yeah and make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you can see all the ways that credit score is calculated bye bye